I'm writing a vampire story and um, I'm doing it different. I'm a very unique individual and I have different takes on mythology, lore, and stuff like that. So my hybrids will be very different, but you might see inspiration from, you know, other hybrids, clearly, like shows like the originals and Underworld. Those are really the only two movie series that I can think of that did hybrids somewhat justice, but still not as much as they could have, in my opinion. You know, I'm sure they have certain restrictions in the originals and Vampire Diaries, but I don't know what the excuse was for Underworld. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> Luckily for me, a lot of my female friends already volunteered to be characterized as vampires. They are very popular in pop culture. So I have a shortage of werewolves right now or people who want to be werewolves in the story while I got like damn near 20 people who are already volunteered to be a vampire. Even though a regular vampire is a regular vampire. I hope y'all fucking know that. I didn't specify to these female friends rather they would be a day walker or will your ass burn up in the sun which also lets you know how different they are from me because those are the kind of questions i would ask if i were to volunteer to be a vampire in the story so who's to say they might be weak as fuck you know it's just really dependent on me and how i want to uh, depict them though they have a good chance very good chances of being strong as fuck because i don't like a uh, weak female characters i don't like them women being depicted that way luckily in my life experience i've been around nothing but strong minded females and strong willed females so i have a lot of inspiration for writing them writing women that way but um you still gotta have weak ones too you know it's balance you can't have nothing but strong female vampire characters you know it's like you can assume you're gonna be strong as fuck because you're a vampire but Hey, you got to do your training. You have to master your techniques. You have to be on it. On top of mastering how to still seem human, if that's what you're pretending to be. Because we know vampires age different than human beings. But um, I don't like, I'm going to have to say this right now. I don't like when movies tie in religion to vampirism. And you see that a lot. Like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, those vampires in that series they look more like demons in the face than vampires. And they are supposed to have the souls of demons. You know, it's like, it's not the person you remember. It's a person possessed by a demon. That, no thank you with that shit. But I do get why that happens. If you really do your research, people, like, there are some dumb motherfuckers who think a demon cannot get in your house unless they're invited in, which is the same as the vampire shit, which... I don't even believe that with vampires. It's like, get the fuck out of here. They'll always find a way if they strong and old as fuck. The older the vampire is, the stronger they are. They'll get the fuck in that house. Don't think you're safe inside that house. And it could be some ancestor of yours centuries ago that invited them in the house and they can still get in that house. You know? And most people don't know who the fuck their ancestors was. They wouldn't even know that that vampire has already been in that house. They showed that with Niklaus on the originals. Like, uh, y'all either go let me in or I'm going to uh, throw shit through the windows until y'all come out. Like, I'll make you come out the house then. So it's ways around that shit the smarter the vampire is. But my point is, I'm not mixing in religion with that shit. My vampire is not going to be demons. They're not going to be angels. They're going to be flat out immortals. You know what I'm saying? So, and of course, me at the forefront, being the blood father, I'm going to be the strongest. I'm going to be the oldest. There ain't no killing me. That shit ain't going to happen. And even if someone were to, of course, I'm going to have loyal followers who would bring me the fuck back and we go kill whoever betrayed us. You know, I'm not with none of that disloyal shit. We will fuck you up. And I'm going to have to say this. I used to watch True Blood. I like that show. But uh, they had uh, Russell Edgington. He was a good vampire in the show. But he could control the werewolves by giving the werewolves vampire blood. 
we ain't doing none of that shit either, man. The blood is sacred. It's certain vampire rules that I've seen broken in many different shows and many different movies when most people would just say, well, there's different lore for different movies and it doesn't have the fault. Fuck all that. No, 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 no. Some shit is just like, they ain't supposed to be able to do that. And then you have certain ones where it's always the vampires are at war with the werewolves. The werewolves are at war with the vampire. We ain't doing that either because that's a lie. Traditionally, motherfucking werewolves don't fuck with vampires as long as they don't come in their territory. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. So it don't have to be this whole war against the species shit that y'all didn't ran that shit into the ground, man. Some things are just tropes that cut that shit out. And the whole romanticized vampire shit too where like oh he's in love with some bitch in high school like all that wax shit that twilight shit i'm not doing none of that that's why i say i'm writing my own shit to be original to be unique to just show how i view that shit and i don't like caskets either so let me say that my vampire is not gonna sleep in no caskets because i don't fuck with that shit i like the lost boys how they just had all the vampires in this big ass cave and they was just like, see, the entire cave is like a casket. When I'm like, I didn't see it that way, but it's what the Frog Brothers said. But I still like that concept, something different than sleeping in a fucking casket because I'm claustrophobic. I don't like caskets, and I don't think that would change even if I were to be turned. So that's my take on it.